Alrighty then guys, we are in the building right now. It's your boy Tony D2Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 1440p visual back with another banger today guys. Ah, we got something special in from Amazon man. Fortunately, I was able to get my hands on these, you know, this very very early. Now early is not really early, you know, it actually released today and you guys know what it is by the actual title but some people actually aren't getting theirs until like a little bit later fortunately for me mine came in i think about two three hours ago and i wanted to share the full unboxing with you guys and that is of the xbox series x so let's go ahead and just straight up get into it this is from amazon like i said ooh. dang it's small but oh damn it's heavy too now i remember people mentioning how heavy it was it is heavy this is an actual this thing has got some weight to it check out the box 4k one terabyte ssd 4k 120 series x the nice x box box um where is that oh. Whew. um i want to get like a a down shot or something i need a better angle low key but yeah i need a better angle i'm gonna put another I'm gonna put on another tripod. All right, guys, so here's the box, quick 360. You've seen the front. Here is the side, which is, I think, talking about all the teraflops. 4K 120 frames per second, up to 8K dynamic range for gaming, HDR. Xbox velocity uh, architecture, one terabyte of memory, VRR, which is a variable refresh rate, which is high frames per second, which is really good. And 4K Blu-ray player, finally got the 4K Blu-ray player on this and uh yeah the teraflops and all that the back you got the halo power your dreams and uh man let's just see what's inside i actually got the ps5 too so to all you ps5 guys out there yes i got that bag secured on both and we'll be unboxing that one i can actually pick that one up on thursday at 6 a.m so i might be doing like a live pickup i might go live on this channel or on twitch and actually you know showcase it we're gonna flip it around so you guys can see it being unboxed uh, is it that way or is it oh it's another sticker stickered up as i can see okay in all honesty though like you know a sitting thing like what game am i gonna buy right now what game is available right now to get on the next gen i can't even think i know for ps5 it's like spider-man and call of duty's coming out soon but believe it or not i've been kind of on pc a lot lately Ooh oh man the xbox power your dream this is how it comes in the box right here check it out i know we're gonna have a lot of ps5 guys in the chat don't worry your time will come we will do the same type of love and respect for it take it out here this thing is heavy i remember people talking about how heavy it is and it definitely is that um we got here after setup so this is like this this random setup now okay am i tripping or Okay, I was tripping. I was say this does not come with a controller. Like, what the hell? Okay, you have the power and the HDMI. We have the controller. Let's fill this controller. I have an Elite controller, the Elite 2, so I don't know if I'm even going to be using it, but maybe so. I mean, we'll see. I'll see how this feels. Ooh. All right. Make sure there's anything else in here. No. So that's the empty box. We got that. And we have the Xbox controller. Check it out. Feels definitely, I would say, it has a different feel than the original one. The the, the toggles on the back are, has a better grip. It feels smaller. Let me see. You know I'm stripping, but yeah, this it feels smaller in my opinion. Yeah, it is smaller. So you have a Xbox, one controller and then the regular one it's like so it's slimmer that feels slimmer at least it definitely like from the length the top and bottom you have like a little bit of a slimmer feel um the buttons everything just feels it feels good in hand it really it feels extremely good like i want to play with this over my elite now let me find my elite controller where is that at hey guys oh right here here's the elite which i know you is you can use the elite on here but i might have to really yeah, I mean, this thing is about the same size. Very, very similar. Let me go ahead and show you. I want to make sure y'all see everything. You know what I'm saying? And this is on the... I just realized that was in the way the whole time. God damn it. Check him out. 
this has a good feel to it i can't explain it it just feels lighter it feels extremely light way lighter than this one especially and even the other one extremely light light and it's just it feels great i'm sorry i'm talking so much about it but it just feels different plugs and the startup connect power core hdmi console press xbox button on all that and uh follow the steps on the end wait all the steps in the xbox app to finish setting up your console so you have to download the xbox app to set a console okay that's a lot how are your dreams i don't think we're going to be doing all that on the same we're just probably going to just actually show me unboxing it which we're doing now and showing the actual hardware all right here we go unveiling the xbox series x Woo! this is him this is it man this is the guy this is what we've been waiting for this is it man now i've been really i can't lie i've kind of almost somewhat converted over to pc gaming a lot lately but i was not going to disrespect the ps5 or the xbox definitely pick these up and see how they are compared to what i got right now i'm running a 2080 ti uh, rtx ti and i've got a 3090 on the way i have a 39 uh, 3950 ryzen on my pc so i have a real nice this juicy monstrous pc in my opinion so as far as gaming it's been kind of just more so pc but i'm definitely going to be hopping back on the xbox and i'm going to be hopping back on the ps5 especially when there are games that are console driven and uh, not cross play if it's cross play it's pc for me if it's not then i'm going to have you know hop on 2k is going to be on ps5 for me this year and then games like all the other rest of the games will be on this or the pc so you know it is what it is we have it though here i'm actually going to set it up let me show you guys i have an actual area that i'm, I'm going to set this up on that i'm going to show y'all this is the area that will be for the xbox more than likely this area or it might go behind we're probably gonna put it either there or we might put it behind the monitor i made some space so i'm gonna need to put the xbox there and then put the ps5 on the other side so we'll have to figure that out as we go on and figure it out more so we're gonna go ahead and set this thing up and then just start gaming man all right all right y'all so I, I, believe I believe I got, I got it set up. up. I, I, I might, might not. not I, like I said, this it's the first, first time we're even doing, doing this. So here we go. Here we go. Yes, sir. Set, set up, up Xbox, Xbox with, with the app. All right. So we so gotta, gotta do, do that. that. Xbox. So we need to download the app. So, so it's connecting the stuff to. to okay, connect it to your console. console. My phone is. Um, I'm like I said, I'm setting everything up. Let's update this update. Needs to seven seven, which we done. Okay. It's asking, it's asking pretty, pretty much everything, everything that it would normally ask on the screen on my phone about uh, instant startup, automatic, automatic updates, updates, everything. So you can do everything from here. It's even it's even asking for my login. I guess now that they have it connected to the phone, you don't have to go and do all this stuff. You don't have to, you know, put your password on your phone, use the controller and all that. You can just kind of move at your own speed. I'm logged in. Let's play. Okay, guys. So we are fully up to date on the app and on here I'm, I'm logged in and everything we're right now doing a update on the actual console we just did that console will restart to update so we're gonna wait for this to happen and then we'll go to the dashboard i think i'm gonna have to wait for my controller to actually just set up too but we're moving pretty fast all right so we got check it for yourself i think the first game i'm gonna end up playing and it sounds weird because it's last gen I wonder, I wonder if they, they did an upgrade or any type of remaster. I'm probably gonna um, download uh, uh, Red Dead on here and finish it because I have yet to beat Red Dead Redemption. So now we're doing it. Okay, hold your controller. Probably gonna have to plug these in, connect it to it, bro. Oh wait, no, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. All right, okay. Let us update controller. Update. Oh my God, all these day one updates, bro. Come on now. All right, we finally updated. Can we get to the damn dashboard already, man? Here we go. Find the best setting for your TV. Let's see. Now, this is something I definitely wanted to look at because we're using a key display at 4K. We have a 4K monitor and it goes with the 144. So I'm looking, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious what the settings can be done on here. All right, so this is the main dashboard right here. All right, we have nothing by the way. But we can download some games and stuff, get some things popping. And uh, like I said, Red Dead Redemption 2, I definitely have to download that. 
ASAP Rocky. That's probably the first game I want to go ahead and get my hands on. See the little fun. Okay. So they got that. Okay. People online, D Money's on that. On the next gen, salutes to D Money. You hear that clicking going on? Man, man. Clickers. All right, this is what I really want to see, though, before we head out. And then after this, I'm going to download that Red Dead. I might hop on that later on. I want to see the actual, like, where is it at? TV display, yeah. 4K, okay. Allow. So that's what I'm saying. Where's the where's the high modes at? Maybe this is something I gotta learn more about. Like a val allow variable refresh refresh rates. Let me see what is this monitor doing? What is this monitor? This monitor is on oh HDMI. It's on HDMI 60. I gotta figure that out then. I gotta figure out if the HDM on this is uh, does it have higher frame rates? Uh, might be only on display port. I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm gonna have to look this up. It's something I have to look up. Cause right now we're on 4K 60. I know what the lot of new, the new HDMI 2.0 or 2, whatever like that. That's Alexa and alarm. I know what a lot of that stuff. That's also things that like are gonna affect it. There's a whole bunch of weird stuff going on with this drop. There's new HDMI, like HDMI. 2.1 or something like that 1.2 some new stuff so i gotta look into all that so that way i can figure out like the frame rates and stuff like that when playing on these high games when i'm on my pc none of this matters but with hdmi display port versus hdmi is two different things so 4k 60 gaming is one thing but that getting that frame rate up to you know higher hertz that's a whole nother thing man but i hope you guys enjoyed setting up the xbox me, I'm in, I'm in full effect. I need to go ahead and download this game ASAP Rocky and uh, get with the program. So, yeah, I need to install right now. So, yeah. I love y'all. I'm out. Check it out and let me know if you like this video and want to see more. I'll see y'all later on. Another video dropping later tonight.